everybody and welcome back to something that was not what was promised uh, and was not what I was expecting to stream today uh, because today we're going to be doing something uh, chill and very appropriate for a sleepy dizzy. Bonus points if you can guess what kind of dizzy you have on your hands right now. <laughs> um, yeah we're going to be jumping into some Hunter Call of the Wild which is one of my favorite games so uh, it, it shouldn't particularly surprising one. I've just had a look at the, the Steam page. And it says that they, they had a Valentine Valentine's Day event and cosmetics. There was a a premium cosmetic gift pack that is available if you have a an Apex Connect account. So I might have to try that because it has a wonderful pink tent, which I love. Um <laughs> something. I wish I had some kind of dizzy on my hands. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you, 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 you cheeky little boom boom, you. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, we are gonna. Burp, burp, burp. Hopefully the game will work. Uh, let me. We'll, we'll see about that. We will have a, have a look at that. See if I have a, an Apex Connect account. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I hope no sleepy paleo nerd is out there ready to catch me in some kind of sub snare. Oh, oh what's this? <laughs> Thank you so much, Kingle, for for falling entirely involuntarily into my my as you say sub snare. Ah, oh, it is wonderful to have you along for the ride. You are a wonderful, generous bean as always. Thank you so much. Um, da -da 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 -da, settings, settings. Do I have this connected? I do have this connected. Okay. Create upgrade to a full Apex Connect account. Make sure you're connected to the internet and have Hunt Club enabled. I think I have Hunt Club enabled. I guess we'll find out. Uh, unless it's in this. No, okay. Who knows? We'll jump on in, and if we suddenly have lots of pink stuff, we'll know we've we've done a succeed. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yes, welcome, Kingo. Welcome, Boom Boom. Welcome everyone else who might be lurking out there. Uh, to what is the end, pretty much, of uh, our 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 day in in Hirschfelden. We have hang on, how many of this? We have two missions left of this side quest, and this could well be the last story mission. I don't know. I haven't checked. It could be the last story mission. Okay, do we have lots of pink stuff? No, we have not been given lots of pink stuff, so... Hunt Club. Hmm. You know, I have no idea how to get this whatsoever. Um... Maybe I don't have a full Apex Connect account, whatever one of those is? Uh, let's see, hang on. Because I'm very excited to get pink stuff. Um, uh, I wonder how to. I wonder how to know what my <laughs> what my login details are even. Uh, I'm agreeing to agreements. I've linked my account. I have an Apex, an Avalanche Apex Connect account. There's the, I can't show you easily what I'm seeing on the screen, but there's literally just like when you log in online, it's literally just showing like you, your name, your email, your passwords, and then are you linked to Twitch? <laughs> there's not a lot I can do with this, so uh, we will we will find out. I suppose. Maybe I'll have to look off stream. Uh, anyway, let's have a look actually at my inventory and make sure that we're all set up for success. So we have to harvest two boars with a Hawk Edge CD70 bow, which I do have on me, which is good. I've got the drilling rifle, which isn't my favorite rifle in the world. 
Um, but it has its perks. I could do with getting some more 420 gram arrows. Particularly as those are going to be the kind I'll be using. Uh, for pigs. Oop, I want all of that. There we go. And it says free in exchange for subscription. Quite possibly, but I, I can't I can't even see a way to uh to like give the money on this site. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh let's close down Firefox because I know it always makes my stream chug a little bit. Is there anything else open that doesn't need to be open? There we go. Alright, so uh we are looking for boar. It is currently just gone midnight. We will need to be looking for boar need zones in this area, of which I know there are a few. That one starts at 6 a.m. Uh, that one starts at 3 a.m. What I don't know is what the boar are currently doing right now. My guess is I probably started at this tent and went this way last time. Seems like something I might well have done. Do we have any active boar zones right now? Uh, that one's just finished. Um, okay, now I don't think we know what the boar are doing at midnight. We don't know what they're doing until 3am. I don't think there's going to be any boar need zones up here. I don't know if the boar don't stray this far, or if just I haven't been here as much. Because there's just fewer need zones up here that i found in general. Oh, the boar do come here, okay. We've got two different boar need zones for 3am, which is good. Uh, for now, I guess, let's see which way the wind is blowing. The wind is blowing due east. So if I just kind of wander up, like the left hand side for a few in game hours. We'll uh we'll see, make sure I've got the right I've got bird shot in the gun and poly tips, the right arrows, and then the wasp is loaded, so we have binox night vision binox on two. We have drilling rifle, currently in rifle mode on one. Let's reload this to make sure it's ready. Because if we see a bird in the dark, the, the, the amount of time we will have to shoot it is, is negligible. <laughs> and then nothing on three. Bow is on four, as always. And wasp is on five for small game. Fantastic. Now, given that I've got a wasp for small game, maybe I should put buckshot in my grelk. And the thing about putting buckshot in the Grelk is, it's pretty much always less good than just using arrows. Ooh, that was our first caller of the day. Do -do -do. That deer is up a hill, which is going to be a problem for us. I found some tracks in that area earlier this morning. Hold on, I'll send the coordinates. You always do. And it's always in the morning, no matter what time of day it is for me. <laughs> now, how is the sound for people? Okay, there is deer. You're a class 3 deer. I don't think my wasp goes up to class 3. Uh, no, that only does classes 1 to 2. So, we're going to have to be a bit sneaky about this. Because I definitely can't hit a roe deer from 70 meters away. So we have to get the deer to come to us. Do. 
We're just going to play silly games around this tree. I might be able to hit it from 60 meters away. Might. Still wouldn't be ideal. Boop. You leaving? Don't leave. Promise every time it moves, I don't know if it's behind a tree or not. Because <laughs> obviously, I can only see the trees when I'm looking through binocs. Like right now, he's right behind the tree. Ah, oh, you're not willing to get much closer than that, are you? Boom. I was like, I have to aim a little bit left because of the wind. Luckily, it worked out. Alright, first kill of the day, which I'm pretty pleased with. Oh, and there's a little, a little need zone here as well, which is a fantastic thing to... Uh, Stumbled upon, unless this is the one we already have. This might actually be the one we already have. Although, if this is the fallow deer one, it's supposed to be active now. And it is obviously not active now, there's no fallow deer around here. Oh, could have been better. Obviously, the wind wasn't actually as strong as I expected it to be. All right, we will press onwards into the night. Ah, this is a red deer resting zone. So the fellow deer haven't shown up, and the red deer have already wandered off, basically. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what else I don't have easily on hand. It's any kind of fluid. So I'll need to take a break at some point to go and get that. But we're still only just starting, so not yet. There's a little road right next to us here. Oh yeah, look, we're, we're in the crypt of this thing. Well, the deer have to know they're not allowed to go above 60 kilometers per hour. On account of, I can't catch them if they go that fast. I don't actually know what my top speed is in, in kilometers per hour. In in-game hours, it's probably ridiculously high. Considering that in-game time is like sped up by four times or something. Probably more than four times, actually. Uh, let's think. I can generally do about half of an in-game day in a three-hour stream. So that is three hours becomes 20, becomes 12 hours. Yeah, that's about, that's about four times. It, ma it makes it interesting because I, I have like half the streams start in the middle of the night and half the streams end in the middle of the night. <laughs> because of my, my particular way of playing. I should actually like track. I should I should I should go back and look at all of my Hirschfelden str streams. And track the like the time of day at the start and end of them. 
just because I like looking at data for data's sake, really. I don't know off the top of my head how many there have been. It's it's forty ish. I could probably find out relatively easily. Uh, also, I'm walking to a tree at the same time. Always good. Anyone around? Oh, good. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I'm blind and cannot find things in my list of stuff, apparently. What am I saving my hunter for does? Uh, the last one was part 42, so this is part 43. And in that time, we've gone from the very start of the story chain. I think the only thing I'd done was was finding my first, like, lookout point and respawn point before I started streaming it. We've, we've, we've gone from that to now having just two or three missions left. Which is a long old time, given that each of those streams is on average about three hours long. And like a quarter of that was just, just looking for those horrible pigs around the horrible lake. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, since our since our first little road here, we've been quite Quiet. It's not been a lot around. We're in this kind of lumpy, bumpy, foresty terrain, which is poor for seeing creatures. I don't know if boar like this kind of terrain either. I don't really know what kind of terrain boar do like. I think they like forests and woods. I think they prefer it to sort of open plains. <clears throat> Anyone over this hill? Those are flowers, those are not tracks. But uh, this might be more open down here? Maybe not. Whose tracks are we on top of right now? These are red deer droppings that are very old. No one has been through this way in a while. This is what passes for a clearing. Maybe, seeing as we're looking for pigs. I'll blow me pig caller just in case there haven't been any pigs nearby. No fancy giving me a sort of snort. Oh, there's a lake over to this side. Might be a little late to catch anyone drinking. But we can have a look. Maybe this is the time of day when pigs drink, actually. I don't know if I've ever found a pig drinking zone. Can't have to have a look. 
unless I've, I've lost where the lake is. It's right in front of me. Somewhere. Hello? Lake? Oh, there it is. Okay. I think it says pig drinking zone. I think they prefer the term cop bars. Ah. <laughs> uh, sadly, you're not allowed to hunt those with a rifle for sport. Or with a bow and arrow for sport. Um... Any pigs? To be fair, this is a relatively small watering hole. There might not be any pigs here, sort of, anyway. Maybe I should go down to that big lake shore at the bottom. Like, like, fast travel back here and wander down this way. There's even a ground blind there, so they obviously think that animals might go there. Although there have been so many like, behaviour updates and, and distribution updates and things since this map came out, because this is one of the this is one of the base game maps that you get with the game, this isn't a DLC, that, uh, you know, there's, there's absolutely no guarantee that there will be an animal where they think there was going to be an animal when they made the map, or they thought there was going to be an animal when they made the map. Certainly there are no animals here. Do I think it's worth pressing on to the river or going down to the lake? I think the lake is much more likely to have animals. So let's let's double back on ourselves. Fast travel back, have a look and see if we can see any pigs. Okay, southwards this time. Hello, Moon. What game have I been playing recently where the moon looks really strange? Is it Thief Sim? I think it was Thief Sim, where they have like three moon assets stacked on top of each other for no particularly obvious reason. <laughs> uh, that just said Spreeberg Lake. Is that. No, okay, we are still in the. The Ritterstein area. We're just in like a little sub area. This forest is, is not giving up its goods easily. I need animals. I need things. Creatures. And anything moving other than me <laughs> would be a good start. Well, me and those leaves. Because I've been at my folk festival over the weekend, I've got like folk tunes and sea shanties and stuff just stuck in my head on loop. I spent half the morning, half the morning which I was awake, um, listening to Grace Petrie's Ivy and like low key crying because I always cry when I hear that song. And now my head is full of Northwest Passage, which I, I, is also another song that I always cry when I hear that song. I just realised I'm gonna get down here and then I'm gonna 
going to have to go eastwards if I want to cover more of this lake shore. And that's going to be into the wind, which is not ideal for pigs, who famously have excellent senses of smell. Hmm. Um, but yeah, the, the other reason why you've got a Hunter Call of the Wild today is because I like to do my what I'm now calling sort of free game Fridays. And I want to do the demos on, on my free game Fridays because, or on this free game Friday at least, because the current epic free game, sorry, the next epic free game, the one that will be live as of about an hour after this stream, uh, is Super Meat Boy, or it's, it's a new Super Meat Boy, or at least a, a sequel to Super Meat Boy, which is fine, but is definitely not... A franchise that I'm like desperate to play. So I thought I'll do some game demos instead. We'll see some things that are more exciting to me and then today we can have some chill shooting. Although I wasn't anticipating it to be this chill. I was expecting to be brackets chill capital S shooting not capital CHI and possibly one of the L's chill and then brackets subscript Shooting. <laughs> There's a little island out in the middle. Uh, the islands out in the middle always kind of confuse me because I feel like there could be animals on them. But if there was an animal on it, you could never get to that animal. So presumably there aren't animals on them. I don't know how the animal would get to it either, to be honest. Um, there's like a little house over here. I don't know if I've ever been to this house. So let's go knock on the door and say hi to whoever lives here. In game time is half one. We've got plenty of time before those zones become active. King God says, you know what could be fun? A version of this game except you're working as a nature photographer. I have had that exact thought, King Girl. I think that would be great. Like, there are sort of a, a tiny handful of missions where you have to go photograph something, but there's no real, like, mechanics behind the photography. You just have to have it in frame, and then it's mission complete. I'd love something with a little more, like, almost Pokemon Snap-esque detail to it. Atla. Hello? Anyone home? Boink. I realized, actually, that's this. This is the creepiest thing one could possibly do, is creep up to a door crouch and then just be like, Hello! <laughs> that would freak anyone inside out. Luckily, there was no one inside. Um... All right. Well, here is the lake, and that's that about there-ish is the boundary of render distance. So, is anyone drinking here at all? I think the answer is no. Oh god, there's like a big old drop here, blimey. What about along this edge? Anyone having a little sip? A little, a little. Any, any pigs? No. Okay. The the watering holes in I've fallen into a. This is a really deep hole. I don't know if I can get out of this hole. Okay, we got it. We just about got out of the hole. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, we have a transrex. How's it going? How are you doing this fine day? Wreck face. I am trying. Currently, I'm mostly trying to find faces to wreck, which is the hard part. Wrecking faces is 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 almost easier than not. King okay, says, "You're sat at home. You notice a light outside the window. It's only pretty poor stopping at the door. After a moment, a wild dizzy pops up, binoculars in hand. Hello. How do you respond?" 
<laughs> I mean, that would be extra freaky for me because obviously I am dizzy. So seeing another dizzy outside would be extra weird. Um, why even? Why even? My God! I think that's 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 probably the correct response, Chance. Right? Uh... <laughs> oh dear. I would be arrested very quickly. <laughs> Actually, I'd probably be arrested very quickly anyway, because, like, I definitely do not make all of the shots, like, 100% ethically in this game. Even though I try, I definitely don't succeed. At the very least, I'd have my hunting license revoked. Just gotta push through these little weedy bits. I wanna have a look around this corner, but uh this lake is, is distressingly barren. Says, I'm concerned about how close you are. It's still a good with binoculars. <laughs> You're using binoculars while pressing them against the window. You should remake your career. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Boomer says, I normally wouldn't have a problem with a wild dizzy popping up my window. That reads like part of actual cannibal Shiloh. I was wondering if that's where it was going as I was reading it out. <laughs> Oh gosh, especially seeing as, as it is a cabin in the woods. Like, with no one around. Um, although, currently, my phone isn't dead. I was going to say my phone has full battery, but my phone actually doesn't have a battery indicator. So, so presumably, it's it's fully charged? John Wright says, I don't think he'd be any good at hunting though. Old man unable to distinguish between grazing horse and boar. It's a fairly common headline here. Oh no. Oh dear. Ha <laughs> uh, I can corroborate King Girl, uh, and it's not in a in a cannibal fashion because Dizzy is a vegetarian, or at least a pescatarian. Uh, so, like, I guess, unless you are significantly further along the animal kingdom than I believe you to be, you should be fine. The phone runs on the harvested life force of your kills! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's a renewable source of energy. There's like a little platform or something over there that I'll go have a look at. Apparently I've already been here, because I've already got this landmark. This is the Spree Bathing Area. Uh, unfortunately, my character can't swim. Uh, Shaskor, welcome Shaskor, how's it going? It says, how famished is Dizzy to eat a boar, a horse, and chat? <laughs> I think I would probably eat chat before I ate a boar, and a boar before I ate a horse. Because a, a boar is basically just going to take, like, like pork meat, right? Whereas a horse is supposed to be not a very nice meat, is it? Uh... <laughs> Also very thirsty, for I'm a salt elemental. You're a salt elemental, are you, trans rights? Oh. I, I, did, I didn't know there was trans rights law to be had, but I'm glad I'm learning it now. Moon says, I liked horse when we used to have it thinking it was beef. <laughs> How much of that was actually horse meat, though? Like, I know there was horse meat in it, but, like, what... What proportion of the meat in those things was horse? Because I I didn't sort of ever I didn't believe that it was ever actually that much. 
It was just that they had some in them. I could be wrong, though. Some things is literally 100%. Oh, wow. Uh, for those of you in the chat who are not UK-based, about... God, maybe 10 years ago now, there was a big scandal in the UK when it turned out that a lot of products being sold as, sold as beef meat actually had horse meat in them uh, from Eastern Europe in somewhere. Um, uh, and it was called the horse meat scandal. And in this country, for whatever reason, we don't really eat horse meat and people were really upset. Even though, like, the horse meat was almost certainly perfectly edible. And it's, uh, uh, as Boo Boo sort of says, it's not like anyone could tell that it wasn't beef they were eating. Um, things that it's not like bakers augmenting their flour with sawdust. Yeah, no, nothing like that. Um, Transfect says, you have to do something with all the horses to die from getting scared of ants. There's only so much Tesco lasagna to put them in. <laughs> Amazing. Is this like a little, a little, I'm not gonna creep right up to the window again. Is it like a little changing hut for the, for the bathers at the, sp the spray bathing area? Actually, it can't be. It's got a window. Um, I'm not sure what it is though. It's a little hut. Uh, yeah, okay. So, so this lake, intensely disappointing. Where is... I'm still walking. Where is that boar needs zone at 3 o'clock? That's the one at 6 o'clock. Where's the one at 3 o'clock? It's up there. Okay, I'll sort of... Actually, I won't wander that way from here. I'll wander that way from here. And then I'm approaching it from not into the wind. I suppose this is Germany, King Girl. They're they're a little more on board with with that sort of thing. Um, Cheska says, "We know the food scans we get in Norway are we made too much dairy and exported it, and now we don't have enough to put on the shelves." Oh no! I meant with like not being prissy about about public nudity and stuff is is more what I meant. Like the Germans are, are fairly chill with their I think they they call it FKK Fry Core culture or Corp culture. I don't know if you pronounce the P at the end of it. Um, Transfer says it's having a transparent window into changing a particularly German stereotype. No, no, I I was just talking about how they're more on board with like. Casual and, and, and public nudity in places like beaches where it makes sense. Not like like just in the street necessarily, but you know, places like a, a changing area for a beach. Whereas us Brits, like once upon a time, Brits were super chill with just like changing in and out of our bathing suits at the beach. But we've we've gone all American in the course of my lifetime, and now we're all very prudish for some stupid reason um, about that kind of thing. Uh, Sheska says, last year there was a scandal about fish being sold after dying from natural causes, which is against the law. If humans didn't directly and intentionally kill it, it might not be safe to eat. Yes, now that that is a genuine scandal, that there might be unsafe meat in your in your produce. Like with the with the horse meat scandal. Oh, hello, 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 human. Not humans. <laughs> Definitely not humans. Uh dears. With the horse meat scandal, there were some people sort of suggesting that oh well, you know, it, it it's unregulated meat. It could be full of horse tranquilizers and everything. But that's not why people were actually upset. They were upset because it was horse meat, and that was just like a sort of a secondary justification because I don't think there was ever any particular reason to believe that this horse meat might be contaminated with strange tranquilizers or whatever. 
Uh, Kingo says, always make sure your meat is healthy, which is why you should get tested regularly. Exactly, Kingo. Now, do we think there's going to be an, a male red deer with this herd? Transfer says you could use those horses for fox hunting. That's why Brits were mad. Oh gosh, don't get me, don't get me started. There was a, there was a news article recently here because we we still have a fox hunt and they're supposed to not actually hunt actual foxes, uh, at least not like with the the ripping them to pieces at the end. But of course, everyone knows that they do. But uh, there was a big thing re in the last week or so where maybe a couple of weeks actually now. Uh, where one particular hunt got caught on camera with their dogs, like, horrifically dismembering a fox in the exact way that they've been told they're not allowed to do. Um, uh, nine. And so, so lots of people upset that, that this was still happening, but also all of the usual places like Telegraph and stuff coming out of the woodwork to defend the hunts, because you know it's, 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 it's a noble British tradition to dismember foxes in the most brutal way imaginable. Okay, I don't think there is a male, at least not one coming. Oh, that was not a kill shot. Oh. I'm vaguely surprised that that was not a kill shot. Okay, it was a kill shot, it just wasn't a quick kill shot. Hello. You still with us? Obviously that one... That one didn't get the memo. Uh... Where have you gone? This way. Oh well, there's one body. That's not the body I'm tracking, actually, so that's going to be the second body. Uh... I think I said, cut that force tranquilizer in it. Do you know how much I have to pay for my cat of mid lasagna? <laughs> That's what it says. Those deer are very nonchalant about your handheld flak searchlight. They are. For whatever reason, that they, when they modeled the game, they decided that the the flashlight is, is invisible to animals. Animals don't respond or react to the torch. I don't know if that's the decision I would have made personally, but uh, it certainly makes for a lot better footage than this. <laughs> like, uh, if if I if it wasn't that, I would just spend the entire time with my goggles, my my night vision binoculars glued to my face. So, like, I can understand why. Um, <laughs> oh, Kingo, oh, that's terrible. Maybe they're just those deers with no eyes. <laughs> Jessica says these animals specifically only see in infrared and ultraviolet light. Why not? There we go. Oh, I was just above the heart. Oh, because one of the, the hunt club challenges is for deer with a shot to the heart. And I just missed. That's so annoying. <laughs> um, actually, that's two deer I've kind of been quite close to a heart shot on. Because the, the first row deer was a front on shot that was a bit too high for the heart. I seem to have hit uh, the first of our little fields. I'm worried I'm going to be a little bit too early for these pigs when I get to the need zone. Because I was kind of anticipating there being more distractions. Speaking of distractions. You geese and your noisiness. Curse you all. Ahem. Uh, <laughs> it's like the Bon Jovi song shot through the just above the heart. <laughs> You're to blame, oh dear. Uh. <laughs> Can't 
Did I actually mark that need zone on my... Yeah, that was probably this need zone, because we're still like just on the edge of where that was. Oh, hang on. Here's that. Oh, a foxy loxy. Uh, ba 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 five. I think I got him. Oh, and this is a foxy feed zone. I need to get the feed zone before I pick up the fox so that it doesn't disappear on me. Oh, that was a solid shot on the fox. I actually don't don't get good hits on foxes very often because they're so small and so wily. Uh, right, feed zone discovered. Fox. Lovely silver fox shot. Two lungs. Beautiful. <clears throat> that one would have spooked everything within a couple hundred meters of me. Apart from the bloody geese. Uh -huh. Hopefully nothing there, although again, I, I might be a little early. Because animals often don't get to their need spot like exactly on time. The best time to get to a need zone is supposedly half an hour after it starts. I thought it would take longer. But we've not seen that many things. Because, you know, you, you see one animal, and if you shoot it badly, you can be on a half hour detour just going to pick it up. Unfortunately, I'm obviously far too pro for that. <laughs> um. oh, I, I can feel that my voice is like lower and, and crinklier than normal. I don't know if I'm getting a cold. It is, it is traditional to come away with a very mild illness from my dance festival because obviously you're meeting hundreds of people from all over the country. About 600 people apparently, which I sort of thought that we pulled more than that, but apparently that's a very good number for recent years, so what do I know? I am your voice, so it's smooth again. Maybe I should go and get a, a drink. Maybe once we reach the need zone, if there's no pigs there, I'll plop down, go for a break, and uh, grab a drink. And then we'll see if there are any pigs there when I come back. So we're about an hour in. It's a good time to go get a drink. I need to apply something creamy to your throat, says Boom Boom. I'm glad I have such, such, such good volunteers in chat uh, who are always so willing to help. Right. Any pigs? Any pigs? Currently, no pigs. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little closer. I don't know where I'm going to get to. Well, I'll get a little close. Oh, hello. Where? Where were you? Where are you? There's an animal over there somewhere. But I'm damned if I can see the thing. It might have wandered off. It might have been on the move. I mean, I'm, I'm sure those two things could probably be combined, King Girl, somehow. 
Like your suggestion and Boom Boom's. Where were you? Also, what were you? Were you a pig? If you were a pig... Um, that's not a good sort of hiding spot, really, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> I might get to the top of this and, like, just go flat, just go prone, so I can still see out. We should have separate practitioners just in case we need the extra set of hands. <laughs> oh, you're making it sound like it's a really, a really big job. Should I, should I be worried about the state of my throat? Okay. Like whatever it was that I didn't spot but nearly spotted, it isn't obviously coming. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here. I'm going to leave you guys in charge of my screen, uh, and I will be back in just a moment. Once I've got a, a drink. There we are. See ya! You all being good there? <laughs> In chat? What do I see? I see no mods, no masters. <laughs> or no masters. Ah, oh, you guys. Never change. Anyway, I'm back. I have fluid. I see not what I expected to see, but a very lovely deer. Um... Give it a blow. See if. Oh, who's that? That's another red deer behind me. That could be a problem, actually. Why are you moving even faster now? That's the opposite of what you're supposed to do when I make a noise for you. Okay, you've got a whole herd. With you. So I need you to to come out a bit. If I fire a gun at them, then then I will I will scupper any chance of finding a pig here. Well, somewhere behind all of that smoke was hopefully a deer.
maybe. Oh, there's a can of the goose mating call from over there. Uh... Lots of kind of the geese mating calls, in fact. Right. It's possible they haven't actually been scared off, which is surprising. Where... Where is the... the blood from this deer? Did I not hit the deer? Did I not hit the deer at all? Did I hit a tree? I thought I was deliberately not hitting a tree. I thought I had a really good view of, of, of not a tree. Oh. Where are those geese? There's some geese. Okay, we're going to assume that I managed to not hit the deer somehow. I don't quite know how, but there's no blood. Oh no, there's blood! Okay, I did hit the deer. Do I want to go... Hang on, can I mark that blood? There. Um, here is very hard apparently to <laughs> That's relevant for hunting. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'm gonna try and sneak up on these geese. Whoa, not like that. Piggus, 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 piggus. Okay. Amazing. I don't think the deer has died, which is unfortunate. I might have shot it slightly too far back. Oh, piggus, but if I go for the geese, I can't get the piggus because they'll be scared off. Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna do something unusually silly. We're gonna go for the geese with a bow and arrow. It won't work, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, I might not have been zeroed correctly. Actually, I might have been zeroed for super close hunting. Which would have been silly of me. Oh yeah, look. No way, hang on, so on. Yeah, I might have been zeroed for fifty meters instead of for uh, uh, whatever I needed to be zeroed for. Geese should be just over this hill. <laughs> Make our final approach super below. Even though I'm 90% sure that this is much louder than crouching. <laughs> in case any pigs came responding to that call. It doesn't look like they did. Right. Geese. Geese, 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 where are you? So level two geese. That's a five to six geese. Okay, I guess we're going for that geese. I think I got them. Based on the fact that the arrow was still there, 
I think I got him. If not, I will have hit the ground right next to him and considered myself a fool. But I did say it wasn't going to work, so I can't be blamed for it not working. Ah, oh, anyway, I did get him. That deer didn't die at all. I, I just left a bullet in a deer somewhere, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, there is not... There is not the body of a goose that I was sort of expecting there to be. Um, oh, this goose has actually flown away with an arrow in it. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. Also, there's not a lot of night left. Um, so I might... I might resist... Hunting down this geese until after this geese, this goose, until after I've had a double check to see if uh, there are any pigs here. Because I did hear some. There, pig. 120 meters to pig. That's quite a long way. Okay, there's a slightly closer pig. They are completely downwind of me, however, which is really, really unfortunate. See if I can get them to come a bit closer this way. Do do. Seventy meters might be achievable. Do I just have to kill them with the? Just just down them with the bow. Okay. Oh, this bush is. A real pain. Right, that pig is almost exactly 60 meters. So long as it stays still. Uh oh, he smelt me. No, 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 I've lost. I, I can't see. <sighs> I can't see him properly. I need my binoculars. I need my binoculars. Thank you, game. Oh, I didn't hit him the second time. I came close. I think I've got him in the face, unfortunately. Let's see if I can pick up the arrow. Which would be helpful. Uh, that's a no on picking up the arrow. That's fine. Where did he run to? He ran this way. Oh, God, this is good, aren't they? Bleed rate medium. Okay, yeah, he has gone down. There we go. Okay, first pig. I'm guessing it's one out of two? Yeah, one out of two. Okay, we'll need to come back tomorrow night. <laughs> Uh, why were these pigs quests for two pigs? <laughs> it's so hard to get two pigs. Um, okay, I'm gonna grab this guy and then run back and go pick up the. Uh... Oh, I thought I had him in his face. I didn't have him in his face. I had him in his spine, which I guess was was pretty much just as good. Like in the face is a failed check anyway. Go back and find this goose, and then we'll have less than an hour left. Unless the other need zone is right next to a warp point. Oh, it might be close enough. 
it might be close enough that I can have a shot. If I really hustle. And if this goose is relatively, like, compl compliant. Oh look, there it is. There's the arrow. That's why tracer arrows are so good. <laughs> God, I've never had I've never had a goose take this long to die, I don't think. Yeah, silver. Oh, it was taking off right as I shot it. Oh wow, okay. Right. Okay. Let's get an heckin' move on. Uh bu -bu -bu -bu. Right. Ah, we do have to go down the hillside though, which might... might prove too much. We have until 5 o'clock in game, that's when night officially ends. So I have to get there, shoot a boar, S super quick time. Um, not die by falling off this hill. Once again, the boy is going to be downwind of us. Uh, good job, Bat Dizzy. <laughs> Double check the Bat Deer definitely never died. No, it never died. That's unfortunate. Well, not for the deer, it's not. It is for me. So you're not supposed to leave bullets in animals that, you, that, that aren't going to die from them. How am I going to get down here safely? Am I going to get down here safely? Uh, yes, apparently I am. <laughs> that all went better than expected. Alright, 160 meters. Where are ya? Where are ya? Figures. Time check. Quarter past. Okay. Pretty much have visual on the uh, center of the zone. It doesn't look like there's any pigs here. It's a shame because it would be really, really good to get this done in one night. Oh, hello, pig. Amazing. Nope. I don't know what I just did, but I didn't want to do it. Okay. Right, they're just over a ridge. little far away. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Come over the ridge. Come directly towards me. I 
I hear them. I hear them. He went this way. I don't know if he has to die while it's still night time or not. I'm running at them now just in case there's another pig, in case I can get another shot off. But I think it's highly unlikely. Bleed rate is very low, that's not great. Pigs. Oh my god, the glare! The glare from my rangefinder bow is so high. No, that was a terrible shot. That was a terrible shot. No, I can't get him. Come on, stay still. Ah. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing at all here. There's a pig. Nope, I just about missed him. Uh, there's a pig running over there. I don't think I can get him. Okay, pig has gone down. I did probably need to, to waste those two arrows then. I got one of them back. It's not so bad. Can I get a second one back? Are we going to be that lucky? Ah, oh, we have an axe room. Let's get Dizzy up in here. Oh, yeah. I like that. I think. Where the tracks go? Hang on. I think we might be onto a winner here. Uh. Hello? Oh! The piggy fell. I guess must have fallen down the hill. Amazing. Okay, oh, we hit it in the head, and we missed its brain! Oh, what a terrible shot. What a terrible shot. But, we did the mission! That's important! Uh, Action says, are we playing Zelda Call of the Wild? Yes, exactly! I am I am Link. Uh, as you can see, I have my, my little Link phone, the, uh, the item that you have in every Zelda game. Uh, and... Yeah, we were we had to hunt some pigs at night with a bow, and we just about managed to finish it with uh half an hour left of, of night time. <laughs> uh Tresla says, another one of those really scary looking boars has been sighted close to the logging area. Okay. What are we actually doing? Harvest the huge boar. Ooh, that might be a nice reward animal. I love that. Oh, there's a bison over that way as well. Um, Hugo says, Link Phone, I've seen that in the animations. I mean in the gameplay videos, definitely nothing else. See, I, w I would have totally believed you if you hadn't said the second bit. <laughs> Um, Transfer says Marvin Chester seems to have some problems with 30 to 50 feral hogs. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, what a mood action. What a mood. Oh, they do give you, a, Zelda games do give you a little phone now. I know Pokemon games give you like a phone and a tablet and stuff now. I didn't realize that Zelda also did that. That is not the thing I most dislike about the last two Zelda games. But it's that's that's probably up there now that I know. Now that you know, you actually do get a, a Zelda phone. Um. <laughs> oh dear. The Sheikah plate and Pura pad. <sighs> Nintendo, why? Why you gotta be that that way? Like, I, I can sort of understand it for Pokemon, because Pokemon is in, like, a, a near-future-ish setting. 
So I understand that they have stuff like that in Pokemon, but for Zelda? Really? Did you really need an iPad in a Zelda game? <laughs> oh, did I say plate? My apologies, Shasko. Um, Chica Slate Pure Pad. The Pure Pad sounds like something that you need, like, for about one week a month. I'm not gonna lie. Um... That is also true, Transrights, but at least, I'm not saying it's it's great, but at least for a car, like, a modern car is already a big computer anyway. So it, it makes sense to some extent that it has a more computer-like interface, even though an iPad is not my preference for computer interface. Bill says, I think Pokemon's less near future and more alt history modern. I guess I was sort of thinking, like, they have. Like, they have sort of the, the weird, like, energy storage technology that is the PC storage system. In the second game generation, they canonically have a time machine. Um, but at the same time, they still have cars and trains and things. They're not, like, teleporting around. That's why I say near future. Um, you know, says the baseball one game that takes place in the Pokemon 1800s also gives you a smartphone. It's justified with God gave it to you specifically, lol. <laughs> Is that really their justification? Because I hated that design decision in Legends Arceus as well. Again, I've not played it, but uh, I, I hated that decision in those games as well. Although I had hadn't realized that. Arceus was only Pokey 1800s. I thought it was more supposed to be like Pokey 1600s or something. They also have living electrical generators and presumably skip the fossil fuels as a result. True. Uh oh. Um, ba -ba -ba. I gotta do some some classic Call of the Wild hill climbing. Get up. Oh, Jesus! That set off the bison that I was going towards. Oh, there's the bison. Quick, quick, get my bison arrows out. Oh, what range are you at? Oh, you're like a perfect range. It's in... Japanese 1800s. I see. Okay. If you have ghosts and psychics and living magnets running around, you're probably skipping a few hundred years of technological development. Fair point, King Girl. Fair point. I I haven't. The other reason why I haven't played Legends Arceus is because I feel like the whole like Arceus as the creator deity of Pokemon really kind of set back the intelligence of the Pokemon community by, like, 300 years. Like, the first few Pokemon's games came out, and they were like, this is all about, like, evolution, we have themes of genetic engineering in the first game, and, like, even though Hoenn is a... Not, not Hoenn, even though Johto is a bit more of a, like, a traditional region, it's still, like, got technology, and it's... It, it feels like it's about technology and stuff. And Sinnoh was like that. Like, you know, it was a slightly more traditional region, but it, it was like that. And then people took the whole idea of, oh, there's this Pokemon that is sometimes thought to be a god. Obviously, it must actually be the real canonical god. Like, like the actual Christian Yahweh god. And, oh, I didn't actually have a look at what, <laughs> what that was like at all. And, and then people just went stupid with it. And... Uh, okay, it was a silver. That's fine. Yeah, I, I don't like that. I, I, I much preferred Pokemon when it was still all about being like a, a technological... Not science-y, but at least science-adjacent, science-inspired kind of a setting.
like my if I were to ever make a like a Pokemon fan game, the plot of it would be I, I don't know if I'd be qualified to make this. Like the plot of it would be about like a region probably based on oh hello. Probably based on Ireland. And like a, their conflict with, like, the Galar region as the, the stand-ins for the UK, but also, like, the, the Pokey faithful versus the Pokey not faithful as a stand-in for the somewhat more dangerous to address and complicated religious conflicts in, in actual Ireland. Because um, that that's, as a setting, as, as something that is not exactly my personal history, but, like, close to my personal cultural landscape. You know, Britain still still remembers the troubles even from, from our side. Uh but but also because I'd want to to deal with the whole Pokemon religion thing. And I'd like to because as long as you have one Pokemon who is the creator god of Pokemon, it feels like they're the canonical creator god of Pokemon. As soon as you introduce a second Pokemon who is also supposed to be the creator god of Pokemon it becomes a lot more obvious that actually these are all just Pokemon. <laughs> They're not actually the creator god of Pokemon. They're just particularly obnoxious. Oh, you're 180 meters away? God, you do not look 180 meters away. They're just particularly sort of obnoxious, egotistical, powerful Pokemon. Okay, you might have stopped, so I'm going to see if I can sneak up on you again. Boom says, it's kind of like what happened with The Simpsons. People who grew up with it write it now, so they cling to the world more fantastic elements of the old stuff and bring it forward. He yeah, says, it suddenly puts to bed the question of who's the first Pokemon. Yeah, well, I mean, no, it doesn't, because there's still lots of different ways you can define the first Pokemon for that. Um... It's not a question of either Mew or Arceus, it's both slash neither. No, it is, it is, it is, like, it, it's not Mew, because Mew isn't the first Pokemon, it's just the common ancestor of all. Like, it's, it's the, it's what they, it's what in, in normal biology terms we would call Luca. It's the last universal common ancestor of all Pokemon. That doesn't mean that it's the first Pokemon, that just means that there's no Pokemon alive today that didn't descend from you. And that includes Arceus. Arceus is just a particularly powerful Pokemon that got a whole bunch of people to be, like, giving it stuff. Are the fossil Pokemon descendants of Mew? Um... My guess is probably. Uh, I, I believe that that is the intention of Mew's origin story, is like the, the common ancestor of all Pokemon. Um, because obviously that was in the same generation as the first fossils. So I, I believe that is intended to include the fossil Pokemon. You could hypothetically introduce a fossil Pokemon that was more ancient than Mew. Uh, but also because, although we don't have like a good idea of the like evolutionary relationships between different Pokemon lineages, assuming that they map roughly onto the relationships between real animal lineages, the you know all of the fossils have sort of clear clear places in that. Whether they're fossil plants or fossil animals, because we know that there are Pokemon plants and Pokemon animals that are alive today that are both the descendants of you. So it would make sense that the fossil plants and fossil animals are not further apart from each other than, than the, the extant plants and animals. Kinga says, I'm raising questions about Deoxys, Rayquaza, and the Ultra Beast now. Okay, that those are very fair questions, actually. Like the the Pokemon that are explicitly extraterrestrial or from different universes. That's the kind of thing that I'm like. That's a valid exception. 
The Ultra Beasts presumably are definitely not descendants of Mew, and it would be way more interesting, I guess, in a way, if they were. I hear someone eat. There's someone eating very close. Hopefully it's these red deer. So I'll see if we can sneak up on them. It could be those bison again, though, so I'm not going to change out my arrows just yet. Uh, is Rayquaza an extraterrestrial Pokémon? I didn't think Rayquaza was. I know Deoxys is. It comes on the comet. And Sorok and Lunatone supposedly also came on, like, astral objects. Although... It is technically possible. Are you a Rodia? Okay. It is technically possible that those could be objects that originated from Earth. Because there are, you know, there are plenty of asteroids out there that come from planets. There's, there's, there's asteroids that hit Earth that come from the Moon. There's asteroids that hit Earth that come from Mars. I don't see why there couldn't be an asteroid that hits Earth that comes from Earth, although I don't know of any. I was aiming for its snack. I haven't got its snack. Oh, hello, there's another one. Nope, too slow. Didn't lead enough. Damn. It was it was it was far too brave of me really to go for the the neck shot. Neck shots are hard. Yes, you know, so it's also possible that Mio is extraterrestrial, extra-dimensional, and Deoxys and the UBs are still related. Yeah, that's why I say it would be an interesting idea. Who's this? Oh, this is a bison boy. Let's put on a bison arrow. No, don't turn your back on me! Oh, hello. Which of you do, you think, do we think is bigger? That's a three. Definitely gonna be you, then. Oh my god, how did that not hit you? That one did. Uh oh. Hi! Hi! Hello! Oh, tree! Oh god, tree. Oh, another tree. Hi! Hi! Don't, don't mind me! I'm not here! Uh oh. Okay, it's fine. He's dead. <laughs> Ahem. Oh wow, he like pushed me away as he died there. Ah, oh, gold bison. What the hell? Where the hell did my first arrow go? I'm using lots of arrows today. Um, well, where was the other thing that I hunted? Do we think it actually died? It's a bit difficult to tell. Um, it says, if you remember correctly, there's no capital C canon origin for Rayquaza and its trio. People assume they were made by Arceus like Diagopolkia Giratina. Well, they're stupid then. Like, there's no reason to assume any given Pokemon is not a naturally occurring Pokemon, unless unless it's said so. And even then, given that they are legendary Pokemon, it should be assumed that the things that are said about them in Legends are legends, and not, like, not supposed to be taken as canonical facts. Oh, it just that is why I say it set the intelligence of the community back three hundred years. Like <laughs> people are like, oh well it, it said so in a book, it must be true. Quits. Um <clears throat> Ah, a dead deer. Wonderful. 
Might be more info in a Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, because there's the Delta Emerald Epilogue in that. I actually haven't played those. Oh, hello. No, I need my... I need my... I need the arrows. God, these bison are... Very happy with being hunted. I'm just gonna mark that. Um. Oh, don't wander off. Are like behind and through trees, and it's just, just annoying enough. I don't think I have a good shot because they're all got their backs to me. You, I might have. Oh dang! He went down. Oh wow! He went down as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Take that. <laughs> <clears throat> On that point, actually, of of uh, upcoming... Or on, on that point of Pokemon games I haven't played, uh, my anniversary I think, is also Pokemon Day. And there are lots of people, rightly or wrongly, expecting... Oh, I got him in the neck, apparently. Expecting that there is going to be an announcement of Pokemon Black and White remakes. I have played Pokemon Black. I have never played either of the sequel games, Black 2 or White 2. Oh, look at that lovely heart shot. It has been a while since I finished Colosseum, but not a long while. Would people be interested in me starting a playthrough on stream of Pokemon Black 2, or possibly White 2, but it's going to be Black 2, because Reshiram is cooler. Um, <laughs> sorry. It is, it is Reshiram in Black, isn't it? Uh, I'll Google that on my phone. Yeah. Reshiram is the, the mascot of Black. Oh, that's where those bison have gone, is it? A long way away now, though. Alright, where do we hit this road here that we went for the next shot? Ah, oh, I clipped its butt. I was, like, almost perfectly on course for its neck, but I clipped its butt. Or do people think it's still kind of too soon after the last Pokemon thing for me to, to play another Pokemon thing? Because that is a, a, an entirely valid opinion. Oh, we are right up in the corner of the map now. Any nearby landmarks that are worth getting? I don't think so. Might have one last look down into this little valley, and then we can go off and, and hunt what I assume is going to be a like a prize boar, as I say, which hopefully will be a, a diamond. Pimmer would be pro Pokemon. That's good. I also, I think I mentioned at the end of Colosseum that uh, I was hoping to maybe get the Chatmon app thing uh, that Skylord Zoe streams with working so that y'all can not only have Pokemon named after you, but also if you have a Pokemon named after you and it's in my party, you can you can speak to me with, with the powers of text-to-speech, uh, which might be quite fun and exciting. And it also means I don't feel compelled to like make artwork or anything to try and keep track of my party. Hello. How far away are you? Seventy meters. It's not great. Okay. Need you a little closer. Ugh, 
as hell. I don't know where the deer has gone. Still up, and I still don't know where the deer has gone. Oh, there's there's another deer over there, but this one's got horns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you? Where actually are you? Oh, he's... fine. Sorry, your buddy abandoned you. Oh, stop doing that! Ah! <laughs> this is a really annoying hill. This is a tremendously annoying hill. <laughs> okay, we got a deer. It wasn't the deer I was aiming for, but we got a deer. Who said, where'd he go? Exactly. <laughs> But it was a it was a clean shot, a clean kill. Missed the heart by a smidge. Okie doke. Alright, where is this this big boar? Oh, it's over there. Where's the wind blowing? Due east. That's that's terrible for a boar that's over here. Um So our plan is gonna be we're gonna skirt around to like we're gonna skirt around to here, and then to there, and then come up from the south and hope that he's somewhere in the middle. And we're gonna change our loadout out so we have something that's better for hunting a boar at slightly longer range. Uh because the Grelk is too big to hunt a boar at long range. And the wasp is too small. And bow is short range. So, if we're lucky, I should just have like the the Hirsch standard loadout should be easily compatible. Right, storage, uh, Hirsch defaults, Wasp, Solokin. Sunberg Bear Claw and the Solokin will do class 4, fantastic. Uh, actually, how much ammo do we have? Um, two to H polytips got loads. I need more Solokin ammo more arrows, and I think these I'm deliberately using up because I think they're the bad ones. Yeah, we're, we're deliberately not keeping too much of a stock of these. These ones. Because these are the ones with... These are the ones with the good penetration. We haven't actually unlocked yet. I need to use my handgun a little bit more. Uh, um, these have a stupid name. These ones, there we go. Right, and more arrows. Always need more arrows. Phenomenal. I can't get enough of the bow. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going south to that. That's uh, the start of our journey. And actually, we might not get all the way to where we're supposed to be going. Uh, by the end of this stream, we'll have to see. This is a very lovely gate, though. I like this. Could just follow the road. To get to there, 
and then I'll have a view out over the fields, which are usually good spots to find animals in. So I might do that. I wouldn't normally follow roads. I'd much rather go the straight way. But this will let us have a few more hunting opportunities if we do. Still leaving through the main exit. <laughs> That's my that's my my hitman special. I'll have you know. Still <laughs> leaving through the main exit. Oh dear. Oh hello. There's a road here over that way. Hi there. Uh, the Solokin goes down to class 3. Yes. So I can potentially black you with it if I want to. For now, I'm gonna say we'll sneak as close as we can. Because that's complimenting my Hitman special sprinting through the main exit amidst a hail of gunfire. We've all done that too! We've we've definitely all done that too. Cool. There's a nibble point here. It's probably the one we've already discovered, but I'll go up to it anyway. At some point, I'm gonna have to dedicate some time as well on stream to finding and shooting some rabbits. Because I think I've only hunted, like, one or two rabbits ever on this map. At most. Maybe maybe not even that many. Wow, no, it is a new one. Let's, let's get behind the cover of the trees a little bit. So he doesn't see us coming. It would be nice if this arrow that I was trying to place directly on top of him would actually be on top of him. That would be grand. <coughs> oh, he's taking an interest now. We've got good cover here. Unfortunately, he's a little bit between some trees. We should be okay. Right. He's out. Make sure I'm using the right arrows. Amazing. Flawless. Textbook. Actually, I say textbook. I could have had my 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 bow zeroed to forty instead of twenty, but other than that, textbook didn't matter because I was using the rangefinder bow. You do seem to be the only animal in the field today. That's fine. Hello! Silver, heart shot. Very nice. Who's that over there? There's some geese. I wonder if they're coming down, seeing as they're mating calling. Maybe not. There's a little stealthy seagull. Out beyond where the uh, the terrain detail pops in, so not very well hidden at all.
Ah, oh, hello. Oh, you're a little ways away. What's the biggest zero on this? 300 meters. Hmm. I'll give it a go, I guess. More goose mating calls. Oh, hello! Oh, okay. New, much better target acquired. We don't see fellow deer all that often, the way we play. I think they do tend to really stick to the fields, in particular. That's a that's a, a lady roe deer with no antlers for us. So I'm gonna go for the male with the antlers. Mm. Bloody geese, shut up! Now I could theoretically put up that stand and maybe generate a little bit less hunting pressure. But I don't know if putting up the stand spooks animals, so we're not going to. Okay, we are at 150 zero in current, which is the zero we would want. Then get to exactly 150 meters from you. Dude, we're nearly there. Alright, okay. So, other deer is over there, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go bang. And then... Bang. Okay. Where are you? Ah! Couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get my cursor over him in time. I was close. It would have been another neck shot, but I was close. That was a good shot on him though, I think. He died pretty quick. And that has of course spooked the geese. And where were we? where were you? South of me. Oh hello. Who's that? I think I got him. There's one next to him as well. No, oh, yeah, the one next to him's gone. Oh, that went pretty well, I think. Oh, there's a foxy over there. We're not going to get him. Lovely spotty pattern. Gold ranking. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go pick up this Rodia. See, it's always worth going to the fields. There's an invisible goose calling at us. Oh, who's that over there? Well, there's a piggy over there. A nervous piggy. It's been hearing gunshots going off, doesn't like it. I'll keep my eye on him. says invisible goose <laughs> incredible curse to cast on the bloodline oh my gosh that is that is a genius idea if only I had the ability to actually cast curses <laughs> note to self if my players ever really really annoy a very powerful magical being I 
think I got it. I don't think I got it. Oh, that was a naff shot, that was. Uh, right, okay. First, find out what this, this thing is here. Because we're about to walk away from it. Yeah, that's just a hunting thing. We don't need that. Second, find this body. Third, realise we might have blobbed up a bit too much hunting pressure here. That's not a body, that's a log. There's a body. Third, go for that pig. Do not inform them of the curse display honk during random moments and describe goose antics. <laughs> oh wow, that was so much of a better shot than I was sort of expecting it to be. <laughs> Astonishing. Uh, I'm going to pick up this because I don't know if I have this yet. And I'm going to keep running because I've blobbed up so much hunting pressure here that actually I don't want to shoot too many things that are close by. So I'm, I'm kind of quite happy to scare them away at this point. Oh, look at that! The shot was actually a good one. The second shot was naff, but the shot was a good one. Ah, oh, three golds in three shots. Not bad, I would say. Not bad at all. Uh, right, where are we going? We're going over this way, so I'm going to put the marker there. I'm going to run to the marker, and then from then on we can go stealthy again. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Apart from the fact that the sun is having like, graphical glitches. I've got a wonderful feeling. Everything's going my way. I, how, you, how does that bit go at the end? I, I obviously did not have the right notes there. I do not know what the right notes are. Everything's going my way. There we go. Kiko says, not bad at all. It's what I renamed my evil island. <laughs> oh, why does your evil island need to entice sailors, Kingo? I'm curious. Or is that just for personal reasons? Reach the edge of where the hunting pressure is. From here on out, we're happy to shoot things again. Sirens need food. Who am I to deny women in STEM? <laughs> Singing, theatre, and eating men. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I'm sorry, I'm also very stuffy at the moment. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I have caught the the. The post ivdiv virus. Or maybe I caught it from watching Fion streams, who knows. Well, after a slow start, I think we've had a, a delightfully action-packed middle bit. And if I do manage to get this big exciting maybe diamond level boar if I'm extra lucky at the end. And that will be fantastic.
building at the rear. I don't know what that building is. I'm guessing I've not been this way. Uh, I'm going to pick up this new zone and I'm going to detour to the building to go have a look. Have a nosy round someone's house. Try not to be... <laughs> Try not to creep them out this time. How are those basically human need zones, right? Except that they're kind of an all-in-one. Like, we have a sleep zone, and a feeding zone, and a drinking zone, all in the same place. This is the Muller Barn. Is Muller is Muller one of our characters? Uh hush. People. No, we don't have a Muller. Okay. Although I mean I guess there's lots of people called Muller around, because there's the Mullerveld Strawfields as well. So obviously the, the Muller family is local, even if they don't speak to us. Guess it's no one's home. On account of there's no like human models other than the player characters in this game. Um <laughs> They've lost a roof slat, which is very unfortunate. Maybe there's an angry bee home. And sort of here. And uh what is up with this um what is up with this barbed wire, huh? That's gonna do someone a mischief. Um Hello? Are you are you sentient? I can't go through it. So we'll say yes, sentient. It doesn't look like they have any nice, yummy collectibles for us, which is very sad. Nope, none at all. Alright, on with our quest. Timber! Ow. I'm 90% sure I'd break a limb doing that in real life. I'd also scare off all of the animals by yelling Timber at the top of my lungs before I did it. Even though, I don't know why, because I meant Geronimo. That's that's what you're supposed to shout when you, like, do something stupid. Or YOLO if you're young, but I'm, I'm not quite that young. about Leroy Jenkins. Oh, Leroy Jenkins is good, but Leroy Jenkins is for like... Leroy Jenkins is when you're specifically going up against an enemy. Tally Ho would be a good one, chess score. Um, um... Yeah, Leroy Jenkins would be like if I'm jumping off of... out of a barn onto the back of a bison or something. That might be Leroy Jenkins.
already has been through here a very long time ago. Nothing else interesting. I have not been up to this corner before, which is why all of these are like question marked out. So we might be moderately low on animals. Then again, we might not be. I was firing very blind there, so I probably haven't hit him. Oh, there are pheasants around somewhere. Do I have a pheasant gun? I've got, I mean, I guess this is a pheasant gun. I won't hit any pheasants with it, but it is one. Oh, I hit, I hit. There, pheasant. Wait, where'd it go? I zoomed in and it disappeared. Pheasant, again. Nope. Where did you go? Pheasant. I sent a lot of bullets after that thing. It didn't die. I did hit the fox though, apparently. I hear you, I hear you. I've, I've killed something. <laughs> I'm guessing probably the fox. Uh, where's the blood from the fox? That was a hell of a lot of bullets. <laughs> that was an awful lot of bullets. Um, yeah, that that track back there was from before I shot the thing. Oh, that was also not the one that I shot. Uh, okay, you went this way. Well, at least we got the fox. Not well, but we got it. And I haven't had a chance to get a pheasant that close in a long time, possibly ever in this game. If I'd had a shotgun, I don't have a shotgun, right? That would be really embarrassing if I had a shotgun. No, if I had a shotgun. I think we could have had a pheasant there. Oh yeah, this is definitely just a, a one a one animal blob. Didn't hit any of the others. Cry. I felt sure some of those were good shots as well. I'm a bit sad. What am I zero drop? No, I'm zero to the well, I'm zero to the middle zero. I would have been better to re zero to the close zero. I was in a bit of a hurry. And I'm, I'm only going to learn how to do it by trying. What I really need is tracer rounds, so I know if I'm aiming too high or too low. Because, like, I know I missed, but I have no idea how much I missed. Was I not leading enough? Was I too high? Was I too low? Was I leading too much? Somebody else's feet zone here. Which I will happily add to my map. Keep my eye on that track. That track there is the fox I'm following. Sadly, although the 
The wasp is great for foxes and rabbits. And anything that you're allowed to shoot at while it's on the ground. Like, I think you saw me sort of stop when the pheasant landed. Because even though it would be really easy to shoot then, you don't get any like trophy for it. You're not supposed to do it that way. Which I hate as a mechanic. Like, you give someone a, a dead pheasant, how are they supposed to know how in the air it was when you shot it? Unless they're like a forensic specialist. We have gone quite a long way since I hit this fox. Just how bad of a shot it was. Which, again, like, I couldn't see the thing. Not surprising. You probably zagged back this way though. So that is blood. Ugh. I mean, this is kind of good in a way. Like, I'm going past this. So the wind that's blowing in this direction, the more the more this way I go, the less trouble I'll have with the wind when I come up on the actual thing that I'm here to hunt. On the other hand, if it just completely doubles back on itself. Then we'll all be wasting time. Oh, we're only just under half. This was a really bad shot. Low quarter. The fox will soon be ours. Oh, and the rain is coming. I love the rain. We're under a, a, a yellow warning for rain right now where I live. I, I think it is raining outside out my window. But uh, presumably it's going to get pretty heavy later. I don't know what a red warning for rain looks like in terms of, of amount of rain. Luckily, although we're destroying the planet, we haven't quite yet destroyed the planet that much that that's sort of becoming a reality here. Oh, it's getting misty out on the lake as well. I don't know if this lake has a name. It's just the edge of the world. <gasps> a fox, a body, amazing. Our waypoint is still set. Everything should be good. Actually, that's probably why I'm super stuffing today, is because is of the rain and the, the weather. 
I have I have like like old grannies in stories have bones that tell them when it's gonna rain. I have ears that go when it's it's about to be crazy weather. Oh, I was off to the side. I was slightly too far ahead. Oh dear. I mean it was a terrible angle to take a shot from. Don't really know what I expected. After I've done this quest, there's an aggressive boar sausage in the Mullerwald logging area. Oh, there's actually two. Uh, there's two quest boars here. <gasps> That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> That's gonna be real interesting. Um, we're in the end game now, I guess. Like this is the the final area. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Ah, and we have a Jasmine in the chat. Hi, how's it going? You are joining me for the stunningly pretty Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, which today is very misty and, and ethereal and beautiful. We are right, right up at the end of the game. I've got this side mission left. I don't know if there are any more story missions after this, but there might not be. Um... Desmond is excited for tomorrow because you're getting your hair done. Ooh, ooh. Are you are you getting it dyed or just uh just a, a cut and a, a trim and stuff? Cause I I love getting my hair dyed. I hate getting my hair cut. <laughs> cut and styled. Hoping to bleach it again at some point too. Wonderful. Ah, and you're on a three-month... No, a three-stream watch streak. That is so wonderful to have you here. The big three, indeed. I've never quite figured out how Twitch decides who does and doesn't get watch streaks, because I'm sure you are not the only person in chat right now who is on a three-stream watch streak, or more, but... uh. <laughs> Indeed, as I as I said before, in fact, we're we're, we're in Germany. They're they're much more accepting of that kind of thing. <laughs> Did you? All right, four hundred meters, and then somewhere here. Two different quest boards. I also, I don't know, I'm slightly worried that if if I shoot one of the quest boards... Do I have arrows? I have my arrows on. If I shoot one of the quest boards, I'm worried it's going to spook the other quest boar and that I won't be able to like find it again easily. That's a concern of mine. Because um, when I played Lake and Lakes, they have a quest bear there called Mr. Black, who's a big bear, very high level. Uh, not quite a guaranteed diamond, but a likely diamond bear that's generated for the quest. And he was such a pain, because I just followed him for mile after mile after mile tracking this bear. It was such an absolute nightmare. I've had foxes like that too, where... Or maybe coyotes, where like they they pick up your scent and you follow them, and you just they just keep going and they never ever stop and you never catch up because they're always going like a little bit faster than you and they pause and maybe if you're lucky you see them just a glimpse and then they're on the move again. And I really really don't want to have to do that with a high level reward bear a uh, boar. Because uh, that's a nightmare. If I'm Lucky, then if I like leave and come back, the quest ball will return to being here, but I don't know if that's true.
Like if I if I find it and then lose it, I have no idea what happens. Presumably it's likely to drink somewhere along this coastline, unless it drinks up there. So it might theoretically be able to... we might be able to recover it if we do lose it. But that is only a minor. If we're extra super lucky, they'll be stood next to each other, and we can go blap blap. But I feel like I'm probably not that lucky. If we're extra unlucky, they'll be glitched awkwardly through each other because they spawn in the same spot. Uh, and then when we get there, we'll sh try and shoot one and it'll accidentally register on the other one's hitbox and it'll mess, mess up the shot. <laughs> so yeah, many possibilities could be the thing and I... I don't necessarily have the trust in this game that I would like to have to be certain that they won't they won't come to pass. Also, the wind has bloody swung around. It, the game knows where I'm going, and it points the wind in that direction at all times <laughs> to guarantee that I am I am least likely to be successful in a hunt. And it would probably be fine if I had a scent eliminator, but they're actually not very good at eliminating your scent. And they take up quite a lot of inventory space, so I never bring them. Alright, having deliberately tried to come at it from this angle, I might now need to go, like, take a zigzag so I can come at it from not with the wind. The other thing is, we don't know exactly where in the area the pig's going to be. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so snuffly! My goodness! My ears, they do be misbehaving. You can see that we're in the, the bit they have cleared with the ground underneath. I like that, that's a nice, nice touch. It's a shame it's just up in this sort of little corner where no one would ever normally come, apart from for the quest. Tiny meters out from the edge of the area. Oh, Jesus. Where are you? There you are. Where did you go? Where did you, where did you go? Through that tree, not if you turn around though. Come on. Come on. I'll squeak for you again. Oh, no, I don't have to. Got him. Oh, there was a rabbit there. Oh, what a disaster. I walked straight past the rabbit. Oh no! I was just talking about how I never get to hunt rabbits. There was one right there and I had no idea. It's because they're wily little things what don't make any noise and are much smaller than the grass around them, so you can't see them. Okay. 
Okie dokie, let's... Oh, it's a boar feed zone here. I'm guessing probably also a rovia feed zone. Glance out in case there's any more rabbits around. Because I might actually be able to see them against this backdrop. Uh, we have a Zoe in chat, being adorable as always. <laughs> this is cutie. Amazing. Well, we're not that cute because we are murdering cute animals. Although I guess if we murder all of the things cuter than us, then we must by def definition be the cutest, right? Um, that's how that works. <laughs> okay. This is a little hunting stat. We don't care about that so much. Oh, the look at the wind! It's like, oh, you're gonna go over here? Well, I'll just turn around and blow northeast then instead. Screw you, wind. I'm gonna go this way. I'm going to skirt around the edge so I don't get that, these super uber pigs in my sink can. And then what are you going to do, huh? I mean, it's just going to turn around and blow back the other way, but... have a look at what we can see, because we are now on the edge of the area where they might be. Lovely barren open space gives us lots of good sight lines, also gives the pigs lots of good sight lines. And if they're high level pigs, that might work in their favour almost as much as it works in ours. So far, so quiet. Who's that? There's a road deer over there. From now on, I'm not going to use the gun on anything except the pigs. Because I don't know where they are. I don't know. I don't want to spook them. Luckily, that deer isn't too... Oh, look, okay. There's one hunting opportunity. If I activate the other mission mod, I don't know which hunting opportunity that is. It's one of them. Ah, and we have a Shaka! Hi, how's it going? I can't believe you're teaming up with Zoe to bully me like this. No, I can't. It's, it's very like you. Um... <laughs> this is the area where Wurst was last seen. See if you can pick up on any of its tracks. I will. Okay, so these might be tracks rather than the actual boar itself. Good to know. Uh, but yeah, how's it going, Shaka? I hope you're having a wonderful day of uni things. <laughs> Believe how dare I'm being lovely. You are! That is definitely true. You are always being lovely. Um, King says, if you'd like, we can show you what bullying actually is. I clearly need a reminder and a lesson. Boom says, I'm sorry, are we looking for a pig called Verst? Uh, yeah. Harvest the aggressive boar sausage, Verst. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 I'm guessing it's also a, a bit of a pun because it's an aggressive boar who's called the worst. Um, Shaka is sleepy but good. Well, that's that's pretty okay. <laughs> oh no, Kingo, that 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 sounds terrible. Uh, what what 
What could I possibly have done to deserve such a fate? Um, um. <clears throat> oh dear. More sleepy on this blessed day? It's true. I'm I I'm quite sleepy. I spent the morning setting up my my demo streams, but it was sort of all panicked and last minute. I wasn't quite ready for it, which is why you've got shooting today. Hello, yes, yes, you're very lovely. Um, I'll squeak right now. Let's see if we can can lure it our way while I get into the cover of these trees. Downside, the cover of these trees might actually make it really hard to shoot the thing. Because this terrain is actually really rubbish. Okay, where are you? You're up there. Are you an interesting colour? It moved! Little thing moved. Okay, we got it. I think I think that was that was the noise of it fleeing. Just before we got it just before it actually successfully fled. Thank goodness for that. Um oh dear. The Kingo said that thread of messages got a lot bluer than I intended. A lot faster than I intended. Deleted the last thing I was going to send. I'm not sure I know what bluer means in this context. Bluer as in like depressing? Or or does bluer mean something else that I'm not aware of? Since when does blue mean lewd? But I am also intrigued. Uh if you don't feel like you can commit that to being on the internet for the next month, you can always whisper it to me. Or you can whisper it to Shaka and they will definitely not pass it along to me at any point. Boom says, never heard of a blue movie. I don't think so. Or if I have, I think I probably just assumed that it was like a sad French artsy movie. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not actually looking for anything here. And this was just a, a waypoint to make sure I'm coming at it from the right place. <laughs> Alright. It's arguably less lewd and more pornographic. Oh, okay. Well, I'm learning things today. Creeping carefully, looking out for P tracks, which these are. No, these are deer tracks, never mind, ignore me. And that says, apparently blue originally referred to blue collar because working class folk would swear and say things you shouldn't in polite society, I see. The point that blue became synonymous, blue joke became synonymous for a dirty joke. Oh. Well, thank you, thank you, Teacher King Girl. Everyone, put your your dis for learns in chat. <laughs> Blue language is also a thing. Ah, also, thank you, Teacher Boom Boom, as well. Just gonna pop up over here in case there's anybody over there. Oh, there's some logs for the logging area. <laughs> Good chat. 
Now I want you all to sit in a big circle on the floor, cross your legs, and see if either of those two have any more they would need to tell me on the subject of, of blueness. I can't remember how he got onto the subject of, of blueness already, I've forgotten, but we did. Pick. There he is. Wow, that's a big one. That's a big one. Okay, there's two huge pigs stood kind of next to each other over there. That's phenomenal. <laughs> That's really phenomenal. Okie doke. They're currently about 150 meters away. Normally an animal wouldn't really detect them at this range, but when they're ultra max high level reward animals, it's more likely that they could. So we're going to take this slow. I need to find a spot where I can line up good shots on both of them. And wherever that deer is, I'm going to pray it doesn't interfere. Because currently where we are, we've got a great shot on this one and a pants shot on the other one. These deer have decided to graze right around this whole area. Jack says, Boomer and Kingdom are teachers, but Diddy is in charge of us all. Kingdom says, we're just TAs. <laughs> Jessica says, only now realize no Dizzy Hands today? Uh, no. Were you expecting Dizzy Hands today? That is a uh, thingy uh, that I would very much like to get. Okay. I really hope that didn't spook them. I can't currently see them properly. There's a male over there, but that's not as interesting as, as the boar. Uh, we saw hands on the last two Thursdays you streamed, didn't we? Oh, I'm misremembering. Uh, I thought there was a week break in between the two, but to be fair, I don't remember. <laughs> um, uh, the, there is a plan for the 27th. I will hopefully be doing a, a Dizzy Hands stream, but they're not they're not intended to become uh, like a weekly feature, or even necessarily a, a regular feature, just a, a, new, a new implement in my arsenal as it were, for streams. Alright, I know we're being slow. I really hope those boar are still there. We're getting quite close to them now, much closer than I really wanted to. Hopefully they're still there. But this deer was such a lovely colour that uh, it was too good an opportunity to pass up. I hit it quite far back, I'm a little concerned. Okay, now we did get we did get its lungs, only one lung, but we still did get its lungs. Uh, this is a piebald. We are gonna taxidermy you. Amazing. Okay. Now we're still trying to head around this way to get a, a point where I've got a good shot on both. <laughs> King girl. Uh, King says I'm doing this for extra credit. I don't think. Dizzy got what I meant when I said I'd do anything to pass this class. <laughs> oh, King Girl. I don't know what you mean, King Girl. You've been doing an excellent job. You've been keeping a vigil uh, on my little bedside table for the last week or so. Because I have a... I have a multi-way charger that, that has a phone charger bit. Which I love. But it has a blue light in it. Where have those pigs gone? Oh, have the pigs wandered off? Oh no. Okay, no, the pigs are there. There's the huge boar. I need to get around further to get behind. That was much closer than I particularly wanted it to be, to get behind the other boar. 
my thinking is they're standing in sort of like a little V formation. I think. Oh, here is nearly perfect apart from that rock. I was like, I want to get kind of behind the V so I can shoot both of them in like the backs of their lungs. But I don't know how possible that's going to be. I don't want to go all the way around because then they'll be downwind of me. <laughs> um, yeah, it has a little blue light, and so King Girl is uh, helping to cover up that little blue light because I find it actually really difficult to sleep with even small amounts of light for some reason. <laughs> There is one pig, barely visible. Where is second pig? There is second pig. This is like the perfect angle. Okay. Can I get on top of this so it's not in my way and I've got a little bit of extra height? Perfect. Right, two pigs. Uh, which one's bigger? You're 157, you're 180. So we go for you first. That deer is going to walk right in front of the pigs. God damn you! God damn you! Get the hell out of the way! Thank you. Okay. Right. One shot on each pig. Okay. Who says one of them is sausage? I think the one on the right that we shot first was sausage, because I think the other one was huge boar. We have a quest for a huge boar and a quest for sausage. I think the left one was huge boar. Okay. Well, one pig has gone down straight away. That's fantastic news. This one has also gone down straight away. Oh my god, gang, we did it. Uh, I think this is the huge boar, so I think this is the one we want to harvest first. <laughs> all right, this will all be sussed soon enough. Okay, confirm trophy. So you're just a gold. You're not special, particularly. Fantastic. Mission complete, Tressla 10. Phenomenal. Okay, that's all of our side quests complete now. No more side quests. And let's see, so this is Sausage. Sausage was a huge boar. Which is why someone paid me to kill him. No. Um, let's see if you are a diamond. Amazing. There we go. That's sausage. We didn't quite penetrate deep enough to get the heart, but it was a clean lung shot from a solid distance. I'm very happy. We're going to taxidermize you. you. got him. Tesla can make some fresh sausages now. <laughs> Zomer will be pleased his farmers can work without fear again. Oh yeah. Okay, so this might sound a bit crazy, but I'm going to need your help downing some radioactive wild boar. Radioactive boars? Serious. <laughs> Not many know it, but there are still some cesium contaminated mushrooms and plants in the reserve due to the Chernobyl disaster fallout. Are we really that close well, to Chernobyl? Some boar wow. Have been ingesting these. It's not like they glow in the dark or anything, but the meat is considered questionable at best, and ah. it's bad for Tesla's business. Tesla has isolated the herd that showed signs of contamination, and asked for some help in hunting them. Amazing. Cesium-laden boars. Wonderful, I love it. There is a fox over there, I'm gonna blow for it. This is the worst noise in the whole game, so cover your ears. Phenomenal. Uh, what's going on in chat there? 
second King Girl, oh dear. Um, uh, King Girl says, it might seem strange, Wild Boar are nothing to truffle with. Uh, Transfect says, probably not close to Chernobyl, the radioactive fallout cloud went pretty much all over Central and Western Europe because of winds at the time. Ah, I see. Okie doke. Let's also make this. The Mullerveld Poem. Fascination of shooting as a sport depends almost wholly on whether you are on the right or wrong side of the gun. <laughs> says Peter with us. <laughs> Amazing. Is that a poem? I'm not sure I'd call that a poem, but uh, wonderful nonetheless. Foxy? Where was Foxy? Where did Foxy call from? Somewhere over in that direction, I think. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! That seagull, I think, is sleeping on the hitbox. <laughs> Oh, Jeebus. Hello. Where are you? Oh, hi. Oh, you're quite far away. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get flat. To see if they're... Oh, oh. The road is looking very interesting today. Huh. Let's see if I can get a little closer. I'm gonna double check I've got the right arrows on my bow. Do. Oh no, the fleeing, the fleeing. No flee, no flee, no flee. No flee, no flee. Okay, I think you're the last one left. Too late. Get out of the way. I want to see that one. How far away is that one? Not very. Probably too close. Ah, oh, but not quite close enough to the bloody bow. Yeah, though, definitely not close enough to the bow. Okay, you might be close enough to the bow. He saw me. Damn it! We were nearly there. We're, I just didn't want to splurge hunting petrol over here because I have just killed two boar right on top of each other here, and uh, and a deer as well actually because I killed that piebald. Oh dear. I think we've probably run too far, but oh maybe not. Well, they have now, haven't they? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to catch up to them. That's a shame. Oh, oh, there's someone. There's Doggy. Doggy's apparently seen me. That's the Doggy I called for. Where are you, Doggy? Doggy, 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 come back. Oh, there you are. Um... What, what do these arrows do? Do these arrows do dogs? They do do dogs. Seventy meters to hit a dog is a hell of an ask. Especially when there's a log in front of it. If you could come just a smidgen closer. Just up over that log. I think he's having the same difficulty with his log that I'm having with my log. I think he's trying to pathfind over it, but he can't. Um... <laughs> the splurge sure was a word to use. Oh god, when did I use the word splurge? Oh, for, for the hunting pressure. <laughs> um, well, yes. I think he's just gonna kind of be trapped in a loop here forever. Maybe not. Maybe he's made it out. He's gone straight behind some rocks. Because of course he has. Why would he not? But he 
he is coming closer. I just need to get him to come to somewhere I can actually see him. Nope, not that. Ah. Oh. Please, please, foxy puppy thing. Boom. Whew! That was a shot on a moving target, and I was not zeroed well for that at all. So, it's a miracle that that worked at all. But we claimed a fox. Please, foxy puppy, think it's my go to pick up. <laughs> so skin girl. Oh, I love it. Ah, oh, and not a terrible shot either in the end. Whew! Okay. This is actually a, quite a fun place to hunt. I like this. I like the terrain here. There seems to be a good number of animals. Slightly sad that we missed out on that big red deer, but that was pretty nice. That was pretty solid. Uh Right, what's our next mission? What is our next mission? Oh, the radioactive boars. Harvest radioactive boars. Where are they? Uh, Trails have received numerous sudden cancellations of reservations for star hunting tours. Seems news has spread about radioactive boars contaminated by pollutants found in the plant life from Chernobyl. Of course, the meat harvested is unusable and not safe. Trails has isolated the anomaly to a particular herd of boars will compensate you generously for harvesting them and restoring faith in his business. How do I know where they are? I just have to harvest radio. I just have to to hope. <laughs> oh no! Okay, there's a thing here, right? Uh, five radioactive boars. There's quite a lot of radioactive boars to harvest, and I'm assuming I won't be able to get them all in one go. Where is my nearest warp point that isn't there? Because that might be too close. Um, annoyingly, it's here. Hello. Second fox. Why not? Oh, third fox, potentially. That fox is, is hiding behind the logs, though. Oh, apparently this is Fox Central. Or was Fox Central. Probably isn't anymore. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get there and kill five more today. So, I might just wander from here a little bit. Just wander westwards. So I'm gonna go 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 set that as a little goal. No, he's hiding behind lots of wood, unfortunately. Set that as a little goal, wander in that direction. If we manage to get it before the end of the stream, so much the better. If not, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it says time for Kathleen Gun mod. The number of people who I've who I've heard be like, what I really want is like automatic burst fire for this game. There is a semi-auto gun that's got quite a high rate of fire. Um, I don't know why I opened my inventory, because I can't show it to you, I don't have it on me. It's called the Zaza. That might be something worth taking to to this boar fight, actually. Something that's got a decent clip size, a good rate of fire. Whatever the, I think there's a 4 to 8 Zaza, so it should go through the pigs pretty, pretty easily. I think my 
now on the trail of those fallow deer from earlier. I think they went look loosely this direction. Although we're not going to catch up to them unless they've stopped somewhere else to eat. Yeah, there might be something else that's I've got a high rate of fire in the high-tech hunting pack. I can't remember if I have the high-tech hunting pack. That might be the one that gives me the uh, the bow sights. I'm not sure. Um, King says, to be fair, you need a Gatling gun to take on 30 to 50 wild radioactive bolts. <laughs> Pheasant. Where was pheasant? Make sure this thing's fully reloaded. Yep. Okay. Where are you? Little, little swine birds. This would be a, a decent spot to hunt pheasant as well, because there's not a lot of ground cover, so I can spot them. And there's not too many trees, so I've got good sightlines on them when they're in the air. This is a great spot, and it's just hidden up in this silly little corner of the map. <laughs> I really, I, I'd, I'd like that to be like a whole area like this, like a this size area that was this kind of terrain, instead of just a small corner. Plus, I think that might set it out from a lot of the other maps that are just kind of a lot of forest. I know, obviously, that those maps came later, and this map came first, but still. Hmm. I can't see those pheasants. Or that pheasant singular, possibly. it didn't give me a little sound cone. I have no idea what direction they were. Is this been through this way? Pigs. Pigs has been through this way. Calling as well. That would be tremendously useful. Don't know if a pheasant caller is a real thing. Don't see why it couldn't be. Where are you? That's a fallow deer over that way. That might be the herd we saw earlier. Let's head towards them instead. Oh, hello, fallow deer. hit the deer. Don't think I hit it that well. I was a little worried about impacting the ground. What time is it again? It is nearly midday. There's someone over there as well. He was not spooked by me shooting that, that deer with a bow, which is nice. We are far enough away from here, but I don't need to worry about exploding hunting pressure on that. That is a pair of antlers. If I can find who they belong to... 
Yep, yep, yep. Nope. Ah, oh, the hill was just in the way. Give it a go with the gun. Hit it. How well did we hit it? I don't think I hit it a second time. They're over there somewhere. They want to take flight? Any birds? Any birds for taking flight? No? Birdies? No birdies. Okay. Not that bird, that's a different bird. Okay, no, nothing there. Alright, so. Uh, oh, we did get a long shot on you. I guess it was just the distance that meant we took a sec to die. And we did get... We did get the male with the antlers. Now we just got to find out how well we got it. Doesn't like a lot of blood, does it? No, that's a no organs hit hit. That's a bleed rate low. Ah, we might have we might have messed up the deer. We might not have shot it well enough. But this will be a fine thing for us to finish off with when we pick it up. Actually, low very low is normally what you get when you miss organs. No, it does say no organs hit, so we haven't hit it at all. Uh, and it's tracks. Hello. Fox? You happen to be there? Oh, I can't see it. Here's the body. Alright. A little bit of a disappointing end. But, let's pick him up. See what we got. Oh, I was just slightly too far ahead! And too high, I hit his spine! Ah, disaster! It would have been a gold. It would, it's not a diamond that we messed up, so it's not the end of the world. But that, I think, was a tremendously successful day. And that is where I think I'm going to leave you for today. So, don't go anywhere just yet, because we are going to go find someone for us to do a little raid to. Once I get once I get the old Twitch up and running. Do -do -do, so we can see who's live, who I can go and say hi to. Ah, right, who is live? Uh Romadio is live again. Radith is live playing Baldur's Gate 3, but they're in Act 3, so I don't want to go there because spoilers. <laughs> Um, Center is live. I guess has finished Iron Morning Hot Gold because they now seem to be on platinum. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. let me see. Let me see who else is about. Uh, hmm. Raven is playing Final Fantasy VII, which I do not know if I. I'm interested in... Ah! Oh, Modality is live playing Hitman World of Assassination. Let's go and say hi to them. Haven't seen any Hitman content in a while. Modality. Modality? Modality. Wonderful. Uh, Okie dokie. So, you all know the drill. You're all wonderful beans. Modality, I'm sure, is a wonderful bean. And we'll be super happy to have you in the chat. So, make sure you're nice and you behave well for them. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. I will hopefully be doing a trio of game demos, mostly, maybe all, from this last Next Fest just gone. Uh, some more action-y type games. I'm not very good at action-y type games, so be prepared for, for disaster. But I'm hoping I'll have a lot of fun anyway. 
Uh, thank you, Jasmine, for being here. Thank you, everyone, in fact, for being here. Uh, thanks to King Girl and Boom Boom and Shaka for being super active in the chat. Who we had, we had trans rights. Uh, it was wonderful to see you. Uh, I know earlier we had Chesco and we had Zoe, uh, and we had at least one other human whose name is escaping me, and I can't scroll back in the chat fast enough. Uh, but uh, it's been lovely to have you all here. Uh, if you miss me, you can check out my YouTube channel down in the comments below, or if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe so you can keep track of all of this content, and check out my backlog of 42 different parts of The Hunter Call of the Wild in Hirschfelden. Uh, and also make sure to come over and, and check this out on Twitch where I do these lives, so you can come and, and chat with me, and, and possibly flirt with me. <laughs> that seems to be a thing that happens. Uh, anyway, my name has been Dizzy. I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope you'll enjoy your raid. Bye, everyone. Bye.